My best friend seduced my husband for my own good. Now you know who he really is. Despite how absurd it sounded, I believed Mary. After all, she was my closest friend since we were in school. Don't pay attention to those idiots. No one will laugh at my braces now. We even went to college and lived in a dorm together. Jane, no one asks you out anyway. So just do my homework for me. I'm going out with the guy that you fell for about a year ago. You don't mind, do you? Despite everything, I appreciated her because she was the only one who would tell me the truth. Mary was against my relationship with Brad from the beginning. Do you really think that he would be interested in someone like you? He'll find someone better than you soon, you'll see. But it seemed like Brad really liked me. You're the smartest and most beautiful woman in the world. I quickly fell in love with him and was happy when he proposed to me. Shortly after, I found out that he had cheated on me. I believed my friend and decided to get Brad out of my life. However, Mary stopped me. You have to hurt him as much as he hurt you. Mary got me a date with John, Brad's friend. Since we both knew that he liked me for a long time, but I immediately felt that I couldn't do that to Brad. So I returned home to talk to him. However, something unexpected awaited me. Mary told me everything. How could you cheat on me? You did it first. She showed me a photo. It's impossible, Jane. I've never met her. Plus, I don't have a t-shirt like that. Looking at the photo, I realized everything. Mary, if you want Brett to leave me, you'll get what you want. When I told Mary that Brad had kicked me out of the house, she was happy and tried to justify it. You have to understand that Brad wasn't a good match for you. He would have dumped you anyway. We'll have a class reunion soon. I'm sure they'll talk about you. I moved in with Mary and pretended to be sad and humiliated, much to her delight. One night, I asked to borrow her laptop to finish some work, and she reluctantly agreed. That's when I put my plan into action. I found a folder with fake photos of Mary and Brad, as well as something very interesting. Mary had two main topics at our class reunion. My failures and her luxurious life. This is me with my boyfriend Dennis in the Caribbean. And this is our jewelry store. But poor Jane there isn't so lucky. All alone and without a roof over her head. Then it was my turn to strike. What makes you think I'm lonely? Meet my fiancé Brad. Mary wanted to break us up. Her whole life is nothing but envy and lies. She has no boyfriend or business. It's all Photoshop. Everyone stared disapprovingly at Mary. And she had no other choice but to run away. I went back to my house. And no one could get in the way of my happiness with Brad anymore. A true friend is not the one who's only there during the tough times, but the one who also sincerely celebrates your happiness.